you're a lazy otter and you're lazy all day. You see a camera and you want to eat it, you want to come and play. This is the otter song for all my otter friends. Staying in Tato Park in the zoo, waiting for a lift in a Mercedes van. Yeah. Everything changes. What is up guys, Jiminy Choo Choo here and welcome to the third episode of Pokemon Go. In today's video I'm going to be heading out to Tato Park which is the home to Europe's largest wooden roller coaster. I'm going to be there, hopefully I have the guts to ride it and I'm interested to see if there's any Poke stops there, anything to do with Pokemon Go there or if not, I have a few secret weapons of really cool Pokemon I think we could evolve in today's video as well. As well as that, you're going to see how much better I am at the game because I'm uh, a little bit better since the last episode, so we'll have to wait and see. But right now I'm just getting ready, getting a few bits and bobs, and then I'm going to head out into the Jeep and go straight to Tail Park. Woo! Very excited today. Oh. But there's one little bit of bad news. I have my lucky hat and my dog Eva thought I was a bit lucky as well. And she ended up chewing it to bits. So, no more lucky hat. Hopefully I don't die in this roller coaster. <laughs> and then let's go. <laughs> the weather isn't the best. It's kind of, uh, it was sunny a second ago, hence the sunglasses. And now it's kind of just stopped raining. Like typical Irish weather, which is kind of funny. So, if it is sunny when we're there, I think it will be hilarious. But if not, it's going to be pretty sad because I won't be able to do much recording with the camera and that. So, um, hopefully, the weather picks up. It's getting better, it's getting brighter. We're starting to see some, some sun again. Come on! Literally here right now. This place looks amazing. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It keeps raining on and off, but anyway, that's Ireland. As you can see on my phone now, you can see that there's not really any pokey stops or anything around here because this is such a big area. It's out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. I can't wait to check out that roller coaster and, and stuff like that. Pika, pika. I think I just met me brother. I wonder how well I could do climbing that thing. <laughs> okay, so I know we haven't got around to doing any Pokemon yet, but this is just so cool. Right there you can see a freaking eagle. And a cool fact to learn today about that eagle was, if I was to get my fist and squeeze it like that, it would produce about 20 pounds of pressure. And if he does it with his claws, he'll get about 750 pounds of pressure. So. That's how much stronger that guy is than me. It's kind of cute. Okay, so I'm just going to put down a lucky egg because I'm going to do some evolving. Hopefully gain some more levels. Oh my god, there is Pokey Stops. I restarted my app and basically, as you can see on screen right now, there's loads of Pokey Stops. There's even a freaking gym here. I couldn't have been any more wrong. And there's loads of Pokemon popping up around us. Oh my god, this is even a Pokey Stop we're sitting at right here. I can't believe that. That's actually so amazing. Okay, so let me try and catch some of these guys. There's a shelter here straight away and you'll see why I need a shelter in a minute as well so he's level 222 and as you can see because I'm level 20 not only do I have like ultra balls and stuff I have the ability to catch much higher level Pokemon but they are much harder to get so I have gotten better lads I know that you use berries to kind of make them love you a bit before you throw your Pokeball and 
I've also learned how to spin the Pokeballs as well, so um, if I don't catch this guy, I'm going to throw, throw a spinner. I'm going to try a good L spinner. Okay, we got him that time. So yeah, there's loads of Pokestops. We're definitely going to have to walk around here and get all these Pokestops. And I am leaving here with that gym under my belt. So let's see, there's loads of Pokemon spawning here. I could drop a lure, but like I said, I'm going to evolve some Pokemon. So here are my Pokemon here. As you can see, I have a Hypno, who is CP. 1079. I also have a Kingler who's 950 and a Scyther who's 874 who I got in an egg. I've got so many new Pokemon. Ponyta, um, Cloyster, Jinx, Clefairy. We've got Seal. I've got two Eevees. I'm going to evolve the two of them today. We've got um, Doduo. I can't evolve him yet. We've got a 300 Ghastly. I caught a Squirtle, uh, a Cubone. Who else? We've got Ekans, we've got Jigglypuff, I also got Hitmonchan as you can see here in an egg. He's a bit of a low level for me now though, but um, yeah, we've got loads of cool looking dudes here. I even got myself a Dratini, so yeah, first things first. I think the first Pokemon I'm going to evolve is my Staryu, because we're at kind of a water setting, and I think it would be cool to evolve this guy right now. So let's give him an old evolution and see what happens, okay. You ready for that? It's kind of nice doing it beside the water there as well. Come on, start you! Hopefully he's like over 700. I'm hoping he'll be over 700 anyway. So let's have a look. Oh my god, Starmie looks unreal. That actually looks unreal. So yeah, I'm so happy the weather cleared up as well today. I was really, really frightened that the weather wasn't going to be that good today. So it's definitely doing good. Oh my god, he's gone up to 900. That is just insane. Let's evolve one of the... Let's evolve an Eevee and see what we get. Are you guys ready? It's time for one of my beautiful little Eevees to evolve. If I can find him. There he is. He's 519. If he goes over a thousand lads, I'm going to be absolutely ecstatic. And I've been saving these to evolve them in front of you guys as well. So, here we go. Oh my god, he just came into a Flareon, which is actually amazing. Um, now I know that I need to get Jolteon and Vaporeon because Valerion is really good. Holy guacamole. Anyway guys, I'm going to have another little walk around, see some more stuff in the park, and then we'll do some more evolution. And he's 1,200! Oh my god, I have a new top Pokemon. Anyway, see you in a bit. Let's have another look around. Guys, I have just found the coolest gym ever. As you can see, there's literally dinosaurs all around here. This is really cool. So it's a red team gym and I'm gonna try to take it straight away. I don't know if I'm close enough now. We might have to venture in further with all these cool dinosaurs. But this is just such a cool gym to come to. Let's go in and see how we get on a bit further in. Do you guys watch Pokemon Go on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. We're on YouTube now. Guys, it's been a video. Yeah. What what name what's your name? Choo Choo's Gaming. Oh my gosh! Now it? Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, this is me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright lads, so looks like I finally found where this gym is and just like everywhere in Ireland, the weather is crazy. It went from raining to sun and now there's even snow. I wanted to, uh, wanted to fight this gym but anytime I get close to it, the internet just goes and as you can see on screen there, it's just hopeless. So what I might do is See if I can get access at another gym. If not, um, try out some more things in the park and then at home do the rest of the evolutions and stuff or maybe even uh, just, just have a bit of fun for the rest of the day, really. So we're coming up on the blue gym just here, as you can see on screen now. Um, and I'm, I'm still a bit far away. I'm going to go a bit closer. And they have a Raticate level 100, 337 holding this gym down. So I think I got this one. So let's take this puppy. Hopefully, hopefully my internet holds up because all the other places I've been, have, the internet's really been letting me down. Um, and I think I'm going to win it on camera. Like we took on gym before and lost, but we're only getting started. Now I'm level 20, I get to show off my skills. So let's do it. All right, there we go. Raticate is getting wrecked. Oh my god, one hit from Flareon pretty much took half his health, so that's pretty OP. I'm actually, this is probably the easiest take ever. Can use Flamethrower as well. Flareon is OP, I'm actually really happy with this guy. And there we go, we just bet the gym in like two seconds. 
Hopefully there's no gym snipers around, because what they can do is they can just snipe my gym uh, while it's white and put down their Pokemon, so I better jump in real fast. Oh no, my internet seems to have gone. Okay, hopefully my internet comes back and I can take this gym. I think because most of the Pokemon at this gym are normal type, um, I might put down something... I might put down a Psychic type, so I'll put down my Hypno to hold this gym. And he is my highest as well, so he should be able to hold it for a little while. Unless there's some beast mode guys. And there we go! We took a gym, finally a Tato Park. We own this place now. And what an amazing day, honestly. Such a cool place to come. And thanks Tato Park for letting us come and film in here as well. Alright guys, well I just had some food, a lovely bit of carvery, it was really nice and uh, this place is so massive, it's literally impossible to do everything here in the one day, but I am literally, as you can see on screen now, beside a gym, so I'm going to battle this gym, it is a blue gym and it's level 3, their highest Pokemon is a Gyarados uh, with CP1336, so let's try to take him out, I think um, I think first I'm gonna take out Pidgeot with my Flareon, Hypno with my Starmie, and maybe Lefiro and Hypno take out the Gyarados, so gym battle hype, let's totally take over this place. Okay, here we go, here's the first fight of the day. So, Flareon has Flamethrower and it is so effective against normal type of flying types for some reason, I don't know why. Oh my god, I just destroyed him basically in one power move, that was unreal. Okay, now I'm against the Hypno, he's level 644, if I can take him out with Flareon, this is going to be unreal. Uh, it's a bit distracting though, because it's like, I know there's a Boa Constrictor or some mad snake pretty close to me, it's kind of freaking me out. Oh god, I wasn't paying much attention, there's too, too much focus on the sneak. Okay, hopefully I can get some flame tower, take this Hypno out. Oh, and we both traded that was pretty close and here's the big guy the final guy Gyarados let's see he's oh Flareon okay here we go I'm sending out with Starmie he's level 900 against this Gyarados this is pretty intense here it's getting pretty hectic that Gyarados just hit so fast I wonder if Hydro Pump's gonna be any good I don't think it is because I know uh, Gyarados can learn Hydro Pump so but we're definitely we're doing beast mode against them oh no we're not oh no we're not Gyarados about to wreck Starmie lads oh come on Starmie one more Hydro Pump for the lads and are we still we're still going we're still going okay here we go okay so i'm going to fero this is the final guy hopefully we can take out this lad and take out this gym i do have to beat the gym again however and then they'll have a much uh i'll have an easier time taking on the level two gym and then i think we can put our pokemon on on it so we didn't even have to use our hypno oh no this guy is stuck on the level one bug which is or the one hp bug which actually and um, let's them like attack your Pokemon for ages on one HP, but we did it We won and we took the ball windmill in Tato Park gym level 3 So I'm just going to go to my items. I'm gonna hit revive Revive Flareon and Starmie who done absolutely beast mode there. Can't believe how strong those guys are um, Then I'm going to use super potion potion them up as well And beat this gym. I can't believe we're taking out all these gyms in Tato Park. Leaving our mark lads So if you're ever in Tato Park Remember, they were mad gyms once. So there's a little rat attack there taunting me as well, so let's do it. Alright, here we go. Going straight in Flareon against a Pidgeot. This Pidgeot though is, I reckon I'll just wreck him as fast as the last time. Those flamethrowers just destroy this dude. It's kind of hard to time it for the power moves as well. You kind of have to wait until it actually is your turn to go. Because if you're getting hit, they don't seem to work that well. Anyway, Flareon, if he can take out Hypno as well, will be beast mode. So let's try and uh, get Flametrower. There we go, I got Flametrower again. Come on, Flareon, you absolute beast. Take out this Hypno. For the Tato Park, come on. You can do it, buddy. Oh, yes. 
absolutely destroyed, lads. Oh, wait, I've seen Derek Gyarados again. I totally forgot about that. I wonder how Flareon's going to do against this guy. I don't think he's going to do too good. Hopefully, he can get a... Uh, Oh, he actually done that flamethrower wasn't too bad. It was quite effective. It, was, it wasn't effective, but it done done more damage than I thought it would. Right, uh, looks like Flareon's gone. And I'm gonna have to switch to Starmie now and try wrap this up as well. Bring it on, <laughs> Donkey Kong and the Sing Song. Here we go. Right, Hydro Pump. If I can get it, I'll be absolutely delighted, lads. Let's go. So these level 3 gyms are not easy. Oh no, he's doing really good against Starmie here. I'm really trying to up my game here. Let's do this. One final water pump and I will be absolutely delighted. Okay, that's the Gyarados down. I think the gym might be neutralized or do I have to beat it one more time? Okay, we just gotta beat it one more time. Let's go into items, let's hit revive, let's revive Flareon and get straight back into it with a super potion. Get both of our guys healed up real nice and good. Just like it should. And uh, let's go and take out this battle. Sousy bousy. Okay, we're going in for the final guy right now. It is Gyarados. You know, I kind of want to have my Hypno against Gyarados. I don't know why. I just want to test it out and see how it goes. So let's do Hypno versus uh, Gyarados. Let's see how we get on. Let's do it. Here we go. There is quite a level distance and Gyarados is doing some mega damage right now. I am spamming my screen like cray cray. I'm gonna try and get some Psy Shock in there. Hopefully that is a good move against Gyarados. He's using Dragon Pulse against me. Not really not really looking too good for poor El Hypno lads. I might have to switch to a more powerful Pokemon. But we're definitely getting them under half health, so it is one against six, so I'm kinda confident about this as well. So I think we've pretty much got this gym. Let's just keep spamming them in the face. If we can get this Hypno, come on Hypno! Get in there, you sousy bousy! Okay, here we go. <laughs> Going in with some final bits and bobs with the Starmie. If I can charge the Starmie, I'll give him a bit of Hydro Pump. Come on! Finishing off Gyarados with Hydro Pump is just ironic because that is the first male by the teeth to Gyarados because he's water type. Well, dragon water type. You kind of, you get in trouble when you give people some things to label. Anyway, there we go. It looks like right, we've neutralized it. We have neutralized it. I know exactly what Pokemon I'm putting on here. I am going to put on here my Kingler, who's level 950, or CB 950. I'm going to say level, guys, just because that when I used to play Pokemon, that's what I used to. Well, you used to use levels of the CP stuff. But anyway, Kingler looks absolutely unreal in there. You can see in the background, I've still got the other gym down there. Unreal. Okay guys, I'm literally after getting my uh, egg pop up, so let's see what we get. Hatching an egg in Tao Park, please be a lucky egg. I really want Aerodactyl, what am I going to get? Venonat! Well, it's better than nothing I suppose. Moving on. Okay guys, I'm just after uh, finding a little horsey is after popping up for me. And as you can see on screen now, he is after magically appearing and he's just below all the rock climbers there. So today I haven't tried a spin shot, so I'm gonna go for a spin. Are you ready? Oh, that was way too high. He's like standing above a puddle as well, it's kind of funny. He's a water type. What a shot! That was pretty unreal. Am I gonna get him? Please, I love getting horses. I really want to evolve him into Sea Drift, but this guy is actually really hard to catch. He is actually bouncing, he's bouncing Pokeballs off his head. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, come on, horsey. He's CP 296, I think, and yeah, this is a pretty tough catch, but hopefully we can get him. Come on, baby, get in that Pokeball. You dirty little animal, get in there. Oh no, 
I think my phone's lagging. Oh, it was lagging my internet. Oh, he escaped. No. Oh, no. He got me. What is up guys, Choo Choo here, on screen right now, I'm popping up my Pokemon straight away. Today's video has been quite a long video and it's been an amazing one. Going out and getting to do all that cool stuff in Tato Park was so much fun. So before I end the video, what I want to do is I want to evolve a very special Pokemon to me. It's a Pokemon I kind of got earlier on. Um, he's quite a low level at the moment. His name is Poliwag. Oh, there are all my eggs. Poliwag and I'm going to give him an evolve right now. Oh, I'm so excited because I've been waiting to do this with you guys for about a week or two to evolve this dude So as you can see right now, he looks on a reel. He's doing it. He's doing it and boom We got ourselves an unreal Poliwhirl. He is looking like a sousy bousy So Poliwhirl doing a little dance there. Oh, yeah cheeky dab Woo! So yeah, um Obviously, I want to save up and try to evolve him. I need a hundred candy, a hundred polywag candy to evolve him. That is going to be tough. Now, what else can I evolve? I've been looking forward to this. Actually, I forgot to do a lucky egg before I evolve stuff. Okay, let me just drop a lucky egg real quick and see what else we can evolve. Um, I'm going to be going out Pokemon hunting anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. Still more to do. I just, I'm addicted to this game now, to everybody, it's all your fault guys. Um, I've got a lovely little friend here that I want to evolve called Golding. Let's try evolve Golding. I'm hoping this will turn into quite a beast. Uh, sea King I think it is. So if she evolves into a Sea King that will be unreal. Um, well, I think she's going to evolve into one, but if it's a high level that will be unreal. Oh my god, he looks class. I don't know why I like Sea King, because all the other fish kind of look like loo, 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 and Sea King's just like boom baby. So Sea King is 946. That's not bad. That is not bad whatsoever. That is actually <laughs> about that guys uh, the camera's battery just died I need to buy more batteries for this camera anyway and um, as you can see on screen now Sea King is an absolute beast I have still got Sparky Rainer ready to evolve my Poliwhirl is an absolute beast he's 433 so when I evolve him again he's probably gonna get up into eight or nine hundreds which is exciting and um, one guy I really look forward to evolving is Voltorb he's looking pretty south of Bowsy but right now I've been actually waiting and I want to evolve a Kakuna just because I know I'm not going to use this Pokemon much But it's kind of something that I like to watch evolve. So let's watch it evolve. I really love the evolve animation as well This is really sweet. So let's see what this mofo looks like Beedrill. Oh, yeah See I always get confused I'm like which what what does a uh, Kakuna and uh, Metapod evolve into? I always get confused about those two. But anyway, there we go. We've got a Beedrill. What level is he? He's 610. So that's actually not bad. That's a lot better than I thought he'd be. So that's pretty salty, bossy. And I've got a really low level Metapod. I can't evolve him just yet because um, I still need to get more Caterpies. But when I do, I think that'll be really sweet having a uh, Butterfree. Um, a little update on my Magikarp. I am currently got 119 Magikarp. Magikarp candy so and I can evolve Magikarp into a Gyarados that'll be unreal and my search for Aero continues it just it goes on and on I really really want to find an Aerodactyl actually can I evolve a Oddish can I evolve an Oddish I can let's evolve an Oddish I can't believe I actually forgot that I can evolve an Oddish so it's time to get Gloom I think Oddish evolves into Gloom let's check if Chew is right on this one come on oh is it or is it Vile Plume it's one of the two anyway I think it's a gloom are you a gloom what's your name please pop up the name and his name is is gloom yes so I was right he is level 471 man evolving stuff right now is getting really really interesting now ghastly is 300 man my mission is to evolve ghastly I only need two more ghastly candies so maybe tonight off camera I might go around my local neighborhood and try find a ghastly or something um, 
as if I'm not enough of a weirdo walking around. We've got Bellsprout there, uh, trying to get evolved as well. Ain't nobody got time for that. And yeah, ba basically what I'm focusing on now is I want to power up my Kingler, max him out, just because I think Kingler is a unique kind of Pokemon to have at a gym. I think it kind of scares people away as well. And uh, yeah. So we've got some good progress today. Let me just make sure I've evolved everyone I wanted to evolve in today's video. You can see there's horses down there. Do I have enough to evolve a horsey? No, I do not. We've got Sandshrew, by the way. Um, it's going to be tough to find some Sandshrew candy to evolve him. And of course, our lovely little Pikachu, who I've had no luck finding another Pikachu, and a coughing there as well. So today's video has been very interesting, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next time when we go do some awesome stuff in Pokemon Go Ireland. Choo-choo, wibbidi-woo, out. Wow.